Okay, so as you can see, I've set up the duct on the floor, and uh, now I'm just going to put the mark where I want the connector. These are the brackets I'm going to use. They go into the ceiling. And this screws onto it and accepts the 150mm ducting. Pretty easy to get in, put the thing up there and then we'll uh, just latch it in and then you screw up the so I'll do the rest of them now. Got some little self tappers here, just help secure it and stop it from coming apart.
So I've got three three meter sections. It's gonna get me up. This is where the wall's going for the boiler room and kiln side. So the next thing to go on will be the 90 degree. And then I'm gonna have exactly the same running down on the other side. I'm gonna do that now. I found uh, checking the ends to make sure they're pretty round before you, before you get them up there is uh, well worth doing. Just makes life more easy when you get out there. goes on the end. Now, another male-male connector once again. one side of the sealant until it's up there because it gets very messy. As you can see by this ducting, had quite a bang in transport, so you just pull it out. See, it doesn't really take long before you start doing one side. One more section to do, and then we've got two 90s, two short sections into a T, and it's going to go through the wall and enlarge up to 200 mil down into the boiler. This stuff is 150 millimeters. Just because it's so long. I didn't want to run 200 mil all the way. So that's the ducting done for today. I'm gonna to wait to do the rest when the boiler gets here. I just don't want to start setting out where my tea is going to be um, before the boiler arrives. I'm then going to cut holes 
around 45 degrees to point the warm air, the hot air into the logs. And then as you've seen before, the fans will then circulate the hot air around the logs. As you can see, there's quite a bit of draft up through here. Once both doors are shut, I think it will circulate a lot more. So the next job I'm going to do, first thing tomorrow, I'm going to cut open the hole for the door, for the boiler room, and then I'm going to finish off this wall. I can't really finish off the wall until I've got a hole on the other side. I've put the top track in, I'm going to be making it all out of metal stud work, um, and then I'm going to have plasterboard on both sides, because it's fairly fire resistant and then I'm gonna paint it in a waterproof coating. And then underneath the floor, in the gaps, I'm gonna put some expanding foam just to stop the draft coming back through into the boiler room. But that'll be all in the next video. Let's go and see the door, it's just arrived. So I can show you that and then I'll just start that tomorrow. I cannot wait to paint this. It's a bit of an eyesore at the moment. Look quite neat when it's all colour matched with the doors of the barn. And the roof is the same colour as well. And the site grey. As you can see up there. It's the door that's going to go in the side. It's a standard steel door. It's actually very similar to the main door on um, on the barn. It's just painted. I got unpainted. See, as I'm going to paint it anyway. I'm also building this log cleanup. There's been another video. I've run out of bars, rookie error. Well guys, that's gonna be it for this video. Uh, if you're enjoying the content, make sure you like and subscribe. We're up to about 70 subscribers now, which I didn't think was too bad for two weeks. We've got, still got plenty more to do on the kiln. And then after that, we've got processing videos and kindling videos, deliveries, anything you like really. Um, we've also got a new toy coming end of this week which I'm pretty excited about so yeah leave a comment I'll try and answer them uh, and we'll see you on the next one cheers